Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, which was a very long time ago, uh, we were here. Um, we had originally fought through most of the Shadowlands, having dealt with uh, a majority of Mandalorians, and uh, the trial from the Rakata uh, machine. Well, I guess... We didn't really know it was Rakata. I kind of spoiled that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> of the ancient builders, I should say. Sorry. Anywho. I know more than I'm letting on. Anyway. Uh, when we left off, we were in front of this guy. This Wookiee. Who we're going to find out who he is in just a little second. Freyr. Fre Freyr, I guess. How you pronounce that? Freire? I don't know. I'm assuming. Making a lot of assumptions. More of you Zerk of Korrats. Is this even the heart of Kashyyyk not free from your kind? He's almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Freyr. We are friends. Don't you remember me? After years in the Shadowlands, I remember only that outsiders are not to be trusted. I see, I'll see you dead. I can talk. A little bit. Okay, well, time for fun. I guess. If you want to call this fun. Whoa. Well. Apparently, he's been throwing grenades the whole time. Whoa. All it took was a couple hits. <laughs> a couple dozen, but hey, I'll take it. I. I am beaten. Take my head, Zerka Filth. You won't get another chance, so swear it's for a of Kashyyyk. I'm not here to kill you, just listen. The words of outsiders are tainted with lies. You can't convince me otherwise. Do you know Zalbar and Chundar? What? Those are the names of my sons. But they are lost to me now. One exiled, the other a traitor. Hold on a second. Zalbar and Chundar are brothers? And you're their father? Wait a minute. Does that mean Big Z is some kind of prince or something? Why do you speak the names of my sons? How do you know of them? Tell me! My name is Farron Khan. I came to Kashyyyk with Zalbar. To my shame, Zalbar was exiled and enslaved. Do you dare claim to be my son's owner, outsider? No, he follows me because of a life debt. Very distinct difference, technically. Does he? Then he sees something of worth in you. I will listen, cautiously. Gullibility has harmed me in the past. Yeah, I'd say! If I had seen the lies of Chudnar, he would not have been exposed as a slaver. He would have been exposed as a slaver. Zalbar would not have been exiled. Exiled? Big Z never told me that. Of course, he never said he was loyal to me either. True. I did not believe Zalbar's claims. I believed the elder boy, as tradition dictated. The shame of Zalbar's attack blinded me. Go over exactly what happened. Zalbar saw it first. He learned that Chundar was dealing with the Zerka, leading them to our hunting parties. Chundar would blame disappearances on the dangers of the Shadowlands. Zalbar was crazed when he found out. He attacked Chundar with his claws. I thought he had gone mad, shed his honor. I was bound by the old ways. Of course you were! Of course you were! You were bound by the old ways to not believe your son could possibly be so mad that he would just take that anger out on his brother in the most vicious way possible. Right. Okay. Alright. So, uh, Salbar was exiled. When did you learn the truth? A year later, of course. <laughs> Not so, so long. By then, Chundar had spread lies of my own madness. I had no allies when I confronted him. He and his Zerka guards attacked me. I had to retreat to the deepest Shadowlands, but even there they followed. That's when I first saw him. I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Yes, I think I do. I am sorry about attacking. It's been so long since I have offered my trust, or accepted that of someone else. Well, what happens now? That would depend on you, Farron Khan. 
You will either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. There is a way I might can challenge Kundar, Chundar, but it would take a lot to convince people they have been lied to. <laughs> wow, the dark side. This bores me. I think I'll just kill you. No, no, let's not do that. How? Everyone is on his side. He has a strong web of lies, but if I appeal to the traditions of my people, I may be able to gather support. Sure, the problem that got you into this mess. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. There is a legend of a great warrior from the old times. Baka was his name, and he is greatly revered. Baka found a crashed starship, our first hint of life elsewhere. He was a cautious old wook and feared the taint of invaders. He constructed a vibroblade from the wreckage. It has long symbolized our independence. Only destined leaders have held it. Where might I find it? Uh, that is the problem. It was the symbol of our great chieftains for centuries, but it was damaged a generation ago in ritual battle. Here in the Shadowlands, Rothrar fought the great beast. He sought a challenge, but his arrogance got more... It got him more than he could handle. He survived, but the blade of the sword stayed in the creature's hide. Our tales say it was taken because we had become undeserving. The hilt is still in the court of our chieftain, with Chunda. If the blade could be found, Farron Khan, tradition could cast doubt on his rule. Sure. Okay, we're going to go with tradition, which got you into this mess because you believed your eldest son over the one who said that he was fucking helping slavers that maybe would have justified him going a little crazy. So you're going to go back to that to fix the problem, which will then lead to more problems. <laughs> okay, all right. Whatever you say. Alrighty then. Actually, I've already found it. it. I wasn't sure what it was. You have? Please let me see it. I must be sure. Here, take it. I'm sure this is the one. It, it is. It may not look like much, but it is a very important relic of my people. Tradition dictates that it be respected. I didn't think I was worthy to search for it, but I realized that was selfish despair. I should have challenged Chundar long ago. I will make amends now. I have new hope. You have led me to this. Perhaps that is what the great beast wanted. We should proceed carefully. I will climb to the surface as quickly as possible and try to gather support. You will have to follow on the paths as soon as you can, Farron Khan. When you arrive, we will confront Chundar in the throne room. My people will no longer be slaves. Hell yeah, let's do it. Fuck yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. If have returned Baka's blade to Freyr. He has gone to rally support and will meet you back in Chudar's throne room. He's counting on your support, which I will give. Ah, uh, there we go. I have to take her right. Wow, just everyone <laughs> fucking beat on Jolie. God, everyone has to beat on the old black man. Not the young one, but the old one. Jesus. Hasn't he gone through enough? He's old. <laughs> God damn. God damn. All right. God damn. All right, let's go. Up we go, and I'm sure there's going to be a problem when I get there to the upper Shadowlands. That's, where, that's what gets me out of here, isn't it? I think maybe... Look behind me. Yep, that's the barrier, so that is... That is correct. Alright. A lot of tech. I'll need them later, but not right now. Wait. Did I need that now, actually? Mission's brother. Bring him attack land. Do I have attack land? I forget, actually. Quest items. Um, oh, I do have. I do have 
three. Okay, cool. Then I don't need to worry about nothing. I just need to get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, I got it from here. These bastards. I remember now. The sonic devices. I had uh, kind of sabotaged one by tricking one of the guys who was guarding it. I remember now. <laughs> okay, so. Wookie corpse, what? Did I really... Okay, I already saw this. Um, map. Uh, it's the map. It's the map. It's the map. Okay, I gotta go right to go to the basket up. Did I ever check out this rubble? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, oh. man. I can't wait until 2 or they fix that problem. By, uh, showing that it's empty. That's a quality of life thing that I really wish I had right now. There is the basket. That is corpse that I probably already checked. Yep, knew it. Oh, hello, Gorwoken. You, Farron Khan, our spies say that the Mad Claw you were sent to kill is on his way to Rock Roar right now. You should have followed the will of Chundar. Now you will face his wrath. How about fuck off a little? Eh? How about that? Oh, well, I, I have multiple adversaries going right now. Oh, shit. Okay, well, gotta fight these guys now. Come on. Yeah, how about that little uh, trick you're trying to do? Actually, should I do stun or should I just do force world one? There we go. There we go. Oh, Jolie, Jolie, Jolie. Why do you always end up getting so beat up? Probably because he jumps into the fray when he's an old man. Should should not be doing that. Okay, is there any remains to be picked up by any of them? Nope. Okay. Up the basket we go. Having seen Gorwoken operate the basket, you understand it well enough to use it yourself. Alrighty, let's do it. Begin the long ascent to the upper boughs of Kashyyyk. Basically, the FMV for heading down just played in reverse. Haha! <laughs> That's how you save money, folks. Alright. And let us head back to the Great Walkway, or is it? No. Oh, yeah, it's this way. So, take a right at the next fork. Well, two forks out. Okay. All right, let us go. Huh. Chorol, okay. Well, it seems you are more than I thought. Freyr has come back and told me of what you did for him. My fellow hunters split on what we should be done. Some were loyal to Chundar alone. We had to fight. Freyr went to the fr throne room to challenge Chundar. I will take you to him now. You fought each other? Why? We follow the chieftain, whoever that is. If the position is in doubt, we fight. E we each fight for the side we believe in. This must be decided quickly, or there will be much more bloodshed. Come, it is this way. Lead on. Yes, much about is about to be decided. Only one can lead us. Must lead us. Come. Hell yeah. Beat his ass. Nice little fast forward. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's just great. Everyone is here now. It's a reunion. Yes, son. By the blade of Bacchus' sword, I've come to end your treachery. No more will you sell your own people. 
You have Baca's blade? So what? I have the hilt, held by each true chieftain in recent memory. Even you claimed it was all important. We both have our ancient trinkets, so who will the people follow now? People. You? You are old and weak. Of course. All right. Shut up, both of you. This ends today. I, I will not see Rukororo suffer anymore. I can't fucking pronounce that name. God, I'll be glad when I can't get <laughs> these names fucked up any further. All right. Do none of you hairy heaps ever shut up? Wow. Okay, dark side. That's a little bit of an extreme sort of messaging. You tell them, Zalbar. I, I don't know what to do, Farron Khan. Chundar has been telling me things. He makes sense, I think. I don't know. Do you have to fight? Talk it through. I mean... Try and talk it through. Why not? Could we work together? It would be difficult. Convince them. Avoid this needless slaughter. And so be it. The fighting stops here. I will not have our world destroyed beneath you two. Perhaps there is hope. What say you, Chundar? What do I say? I still have Zerka support. I say you will die. Attack! Okay, well, I expected that. Well. Hell yeah! Alright. There we go. I got a stun out of him. Maybe if I beat him, this will end the fight quickly. There we go. Got another stun. Okay, now he's down. I guess that did not end the fight as quickly as I hoped. Alright. There we go. Now Whirlwind will help a little bit. Okay. We have done it. I am saddened that it had to come to this, but I couldn't let it continue. Salbar, my son, I am truly sorry. You have suffered a great shame. I was blind. I have no excuse. I can forgive, Father. I have learned a lot over the years. Okay. Uh... I have a few questions about Kashyyyk. I don't think now's the best time. Well, I mean, maybe. Uh, a few questions. Could they wait? I will answer what I can later, but we need to settle our current business. There's much that needs to be done. Okay, fair enough. What will you do about the slavers? We will fight them. It will be difficult, but I swear they won't take another one of my people without bloodshed. I'll send quick climbers to the other villages and try to rally a defense. We must guard against this ever happening again. You will be the last outsider welcome here for a very long time. That is a change for the better, I think. If you say so. I'm not sure about that, but okay. What will you do now, Zelbar? Returning home has lifted a great weight from my mind, but it has been painful as well. You have a place by my side, Zelbar. I would be honored if you would take it. I... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I can't. Not yet. I'm just getting used to being free and not from the sl just from the slavers. Oh, that is a terrible camera angle. <laughs> and I have a life debt. Now that my life is truly my own again, honoring that agreement is all the more important. Listen to my son. His insight humbles me. Take that good judgment with you and all the planets will come to revere Wookiee wisdom. Okay, I... Uh... I want my reward and then I'm leaving. <laughs> That's a little dark sidey. Okay. Uh, I think it's time I was leaving. Perhaps, but before you go, Farron Khan, I must see to your reward. You have done us a great service. Kashyyyk will remember you well past your lifetime. Because of you, I am reinstated as chieftain. We will return to the old ways. Where honor and trust of kin ruled above all else. Fuck off! <laughs> Fuck off! I'm not sure there is a reward that accurately reflects the value of what you have done. Our world has changed because of you. I have a request, Father. I've thought about it a great deal. I would like Bacchus' sword. God, that camera angle again. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Things of nightmares. 
I want some credit. Wow. <laughs> that would be fitting, I think. Well, that is quite a request. I am tempted to say no, but perhaps I should consider it an investment. Zalbar, do you understand what this will mean? It is the legacy of our people held by chieftains and future chieftains. I understand. I want this, father. I'll bring it back one day. I have no doubt. Let the two halves of the blade be made of one. My son shall hold back a sword. All right. Got him back. Hell yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to loot everything. <laughs> Chundar's bowcaster. Well, that's mine now. Chundar, you punk. All right. Remains on this guy. All right, cool. Freyr, welcome back, Farron Khan. Much is happening, but I can spare a moment. Our fight against the slavers will be a long one. Have you questions? I will try to answer. Uh, want to ask about the reward you gave? Yes, Baka's sword. It promises a great future for my people in my son's hands. <laughs> yes, sure, but I've got bills to pay. Wow. Uh, let's not do that. That's a little dark, Sidey. I saw a strange computer in the Shadowlands. Yes, I remember seeing it during my exile. It wouldn't do much for me. I imagine it's some Zerka cast-off. It's older than the forest. It created the trees. You are saying nonsense. I'm not sure why you have made this jest, but I would ask you that you stop. These are difficult times. I don't want you threatening our traditions while I am trying to unite my people under them. I will investigate your claims at a more appropriate time. Until then, don't speak of this again. Okay. So the traditions that got you into this mess you're trying to bring back. You don't want me threatening them by insinuating possibly this planet had been made this way by people from the stars. And that you have sapience because possibly of those people. <laughs> and you don't want them to worry about it. Okay. All right. Okay. I encountered some Mandalorian hunters in the Shadowlands. I am surprised that such a thing escaped my attention. Was their camouflage so great, or was I simply too struck by grief to see anything? If more are encountered, we will deal with them in short order. My people will never be weak again. Okay. I think that covers everything I wanted. And now I have to reheal Jolie again. All right. check something real quick. My phone is blinking. Oh, that's why. Okay. Alright. I was worried it was something important. Involving work or something. No, nope, it wasn't. Alright, time for level up. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's see. What should I put it in? Oh, uh, the classic I don't know where to put my points issue. Wahoo. Um... Wow. All right. Um, I've been focusing on persuade apparently a lot. Um, all right. We'll call that good. Powers. Um, what power should it go into? Um, I would like the Force Wave. The Force Wave is pretty good. All enemies within 15 meters are thrown 5 meters, fall to the ground, and are incapacitated for 6 seconds, and take damage equal to 1 and a half times the attacking character's level. Hmm. Which is better than the current one. While this one also does affect the ones around the target, this one just affects everyone around you. I do kind of like that. I want to use it. I want to keep it. It's good for me. There's nothing there. Nothing useful anyway. Is there anything around here that's worth taking? Nope. 
And I looted all the bodies. Okay. Out I go. Alrighty. The village. Well. You remember that quest that I uh, had to do uh, real quick in Shadowlands and then zip back down? Uh, there's a reason for that. Um, I think I already did it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I think it was... Whoops, that was not what I wanted. Uh, completed quests. Um, that's not it. That's not it. Matten was grateful that the true... Oh, yeah, there it is. That's the one. Eli was exposed as a thief and a murderer. Yep. Yeah. If I hadn't done that... Uh, it would be... Uh, it would be uncompletable now. Because now everything and everyone will be fighting and there will be a lot of death. Freyers, return to us. The madness of Chundar will be undone. This is a great day and I am told it is because of you, Farron Khan. What can I do for you? <laughs> it was like managing foolish children. I am glad I can help. And we are glad you did. Thank you. We will be strong again. You're welcome. Uh, can I take this? If it's if it had anything, which is not true. All right. Hmm. Kashik will rise to repel the slaver threat. Freyr will see to it. Hey there. Whoops! Dead. Mean to talk to you. Okay. Have it your. Way. Yep, I will have it my way. Cause I'm the captain of this voyage. Okay, I should probably shut up now. Oh, Jesus! What the? Is it getting stuck? This dump. The Great Walkway. Alright, this is where the fun begins. Because as you get further along, you get to watch them fighting the Zerka people. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking great. Unless you already killed the majority of the Zerka people, in which case there's not much fighting left to do. But uh, I'm pretty sure I did a lot of it. Uh, where's the path? Oh, yeah, that's a Zerka dock, so I gotta go that way. And ha ha! I love doing that. <laughs> Alright. And. When I get to the Zerka dock is when we'll see the cutscene play, I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'm fairly certain I looted that, but just to be careful. Yep, I knew it. Alright. The damaged defense turrets. Alright. Items lost. What did I lose? Oh, there we go. Roar. Hell yeah. All right. And let's help them by a big force wave. <laughs> And I go attack them. There we go. Beautiful. Love that. And any... Nope, no more things to loot. At least not there. What about on these guys? I don't think I checked with them. Oh, I didn't. I missed one. Hell yeah. And this little alcove here is empty. I already checked these crates, I'm sure. I did not. Hmm. 
Interesting. Good thing I checked it now. Plasteel cylinder. Okay, nice. This is empty. Good. Jolie's just popping in and out of fucking existence. Okay, this was empty. All right. I don't know why I never checked the other ones. That's weird. And now we go to the next spot, which is probably near my ship. Oh, no fighting near my ship. It's all dealt with now. All of them are gone, including the Pazak player. All right, this was Foot Locker. All right, Wookie guards. We will guard this landing place from now on. Yours is the only ship that will be allowed to dock here for a long time, Outsider. Good to hear. I do appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Oop, knocked my mic a little bit while I was trying to itch my titty. All right. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. I forgot these were on the ship. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Okay, well... Okay. All right. Hey, Zelbar. How's it going? Is there something you want? Uh, I wonder if you could help me with a problem. Okay. Fair enough. I want to know a little more about you. You have seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things, too. I am grateful for that. It will be a while before I know what my role will be in making Kashyyyk truly free. I have a lot to learn. Why did you request the sword? I'm not sure I really know. Father expects much of me. I guess I do as well. I think, when I've learned enough, I'll bring it back to Kashyyyk. What happens then? We'll see. I'm sorry we can't stay on it longer. You and I have important things to do, and I don't feel bad about leaving this time. I know I'll be welcomed back. with your service to me. Nah, I'm, that's a little dark sidey. I'm not going to say that. I wish you well. Let's get going. I will follow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's talk to Juhani. We haven't talked to her in a while. What is it? Something wrong? I have been bothered by something of late. Uh, what is it? I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child. I suppose I was trying to deny what I was feeling. What? I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Trying to come to terms with it. But I find I cannot. I must have someone to blame. Someone to blame for the destruction of my home world. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known. Except those on Dantooine. What are you saying? Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. Oh. I thought you hated your homeworld. It was my home. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there and your fault for rescuing Bastilla. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. But... Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I'm sorry, Johanny. There was no way to prevent it. I know. I suppose I realized that. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. Awkward 
Foreshadowing! You'll be all right, Jahani. Yes. Yes, I suppose it will. As long as we remain focused on our task, it will. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future with my trivial experiences. We should stop for now. I wouldn't say it was trivial, but okay. You have learned a lot about Johanny's past now. She was, in fact, raised on terrorists. The world which the Sith destroyed because of you and Bastila. Some of her bitterness may be explained now. If you ask after she has calmed down a bit, she might tell you more. A bit? A bit? Sure, a bit is the word you want to use there? Because uh, she needs to do a lot of calming down before I can talk to her, honestly. Wowzers. That was some um, anger. All right. What do you need? Uh, do you want to talk? What? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive, th there's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. Okay. How can I help? When we last talked, you said you needed time to think. So? You've been patient with me, haven't you? I suppose mm -hmm. you deserve an answer. But you have to understand how difficult this is for me to say. Mm-hmm. I think so. With all my training, I should be able to control myself better than this. But you're not like anything I expected. You're not like any man I've ever met before. I find myself watching you when I don't mean to. I'm thinking about you when I don't want to. It isn't supposed to be like this. What is it supposed to be like? No, it shouldn't be so hard not to think of you. It should be easy not to think of you. I should have discipline. Jedi discipline. Every time I try mm -hmm. to call on all my teachings to calm myself, they fail me. You have such power, such passion. I don't know if it's due to the bond between us, but I'm drawn to you. <laughs> that starship won't fly. I'm not interested. Are you interested in me or in my ability to use the Force? The Force is a part of you, as is your power. But that's not what attracted me to you. It's more mm -hmm. than that. Maybe it's the bond we share. It gives us a certain intimacy. If I could, mm -hmm. I would return to Dante. Okay. I need to be away from this bond of ours. I need to weaken it. I need to be anywhere but near you. But Malak must be stopped. My own feelings are nothing when compared to that. Yet I know this could affect the sake of our mission if it's not resolved. I can't let that happen. That's a little dark sidey. But, uh... I mean, that's... That's fair. Um... That's an option if I wanted to go for Jihani because uh, mission is definitely not an option. She is fucking 15. There is no fucking way. Um, just give in to your feelings, Bastila. I know you want to. It's a little dark sighty, but fuck it. I think we should have some privacy for this. Come with me. Oh! You're stronger than I am, and there's no point in telling me otherwise. You will be a great Jedi, I think. I hope. In some mm -hmm. ways, you make me feel weak. Like I'm caught up in the wake of our destiny. But at mm -hmm. the same time, you make me feel stronger, more alive. And I feel more alive when I'm with you. I realize now these feelings are part of the bond we share. The Jedi Council surely realized this. They knew my loyalty to the doctrines of our order would be tested on this mission. By facing mm -hmm. and overcoming my feelings for you, I've learned a valuable lesson about control and the dangers of emotion. This is an important step in understanding the Force. I'm sorry if this is not what you wanted to hear, but I felt that it was important you know our infatuation was nothing more than a result of our powerful bond. Hmm. So I was just a stepping stone to you becoming a master? Please don't say it like that. You make it sound like I was using you. Don't you realize how difficult this was for me? Uh-huh. This is nothing but an excuse. You're afraid to face your feelings. You're the one who can't face the truth. Malak has to be stopped. How can I do that if I let myself be blinded by my feelings for you? I'm going to stop Malak, Bastila, but I want to do it with you at my side. You mean it, don't you? But how can I be sure you're not making a mistake? I have to resist. I have to be strong for both of us. 
You don't always have to be strong, Bastila. Give in just this once. But I don't... I mean, I can't. Malak will... Shut up and kiss me, you babbling fool. Oh, and... You shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. <laughs> the Jedi are not allowed to fall in love. We're not going back to this again, are we? It was... It was a moment of weakness. When I kissed you, we shouldn't have... I'm sorry. No, I know we both wanted it, but we shouldn't have given in to our desire. We're Jedi. We can't act like this. Not now. Not when we still have to deal with Malak. I'm sorry. I, I don't blame you, but it was a mistake. Uh, of course. Of here before somebody sees us together. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. There's nothing more that needs to be said at the moment. Your relationship with Bastila is going to depend on the outcome of this mission. And perhaps once it is over with the two of you, you can... Perhaps when it is over with... That deserves a comma right there, you sons of bitches. The two of you can look at what is to come that is going to become. Let me try that again. Uh, and perhaps once it is over with... The two of you can look at what it is going to become. For now, however, the mission is more important, as is your destiny. Alrighty. Welp. Alrighty then. Baron Khan got a dickwit. <laughs> With the most sundere of fucking Jedi. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't joke about this. I really shouldn't. But, um... That was something. That was something. But uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, end the episode here for right now. Um, since we are now done with Kashyyyk. And we shall move on to... What's the next one? The next planet is... Manan? I think? I think Manan is next? I don't know. Or is maybe... Huh. I'll have to get back to you on that. I need to figure out the game plan. Um, because I know... That at a certain point, if I don't do... Actually, you know what? I might not even do this. Um, because this is more of a dark side thing anyway. But, uh... It's an idea, at least. Um, yeah, we're not going to do a complete playthrough on this. Not as much as I would like. But uh, considering the difficulty that it would involve doing that, um, we're not going to do that right now. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure out what planet we go to next by the next time we do a recording. Don't worry about that. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Hell yeah, I finally got the outro fucking out in one take. Fuck yeah. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and uh, finishing up Kashyyyk. And uh, helping them get rid of the Zerka slavers once and for all. Thank fucking gods for you.